ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇಧಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪ್ರತಯೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಲಕಾಂಡ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಬಾಲಕಾಂಡ in the entire balakanda we see the youthful days of rama having born in the house of dasharatha and then married princess sita and was living happily here in ayodhya sri parashurama having departed sri rama delivered the bow and arrows as a trust to the god varuna having offered salutations to sri vasistha and the other sages he seeing his father filled with apprehension addressed him saying o father sri parashurama has now gone do you command your army to proceed towards ayodhya king dasharatha hearing rama's words embraced him and reflected that his son was born to him a second time then summoning his army to advance he in a chariot adorned with banners to the fanfare of trumpets claiming victory entered ayodhya the streets of the city sprinkled with water and flowers appeared beautiful and the citizens citizens rejoicing at the return of their sovereign greeted him with shouts of welcome met by the brahmins inhabited inhabiting the city the king with his friends and relatives followed by the princes and their brides entered the royal palace which was white as snow they the kindred of the king the I mean those who are close to the king welcomed him with garlands and sandalwood queen kaushalya sumitra and kaikeyi received the brides and conducted the fortunate the sita the illustrious urmila and the two daughters of krishadhvaja to their palace with auspicious rites arrayed in sumptuous silken robes and born to the temple to worship a holy images the brides then offered respectful salutations to their mother-in-laws and others worthy of honor Thereafter, each began to live with her lord in her own palace. Sri Ramachandra with the other princes possessing the knowledge of the use of weapons and the science of defense passed the time with their friends in attendance on their aged father. After some time, King Dasharatha said to his son Bharata, O oh, my son, your maternal uncle who came for the purpose of taking you to his home still tarries in the capital. Therefore, go with him to see your grandfather. Prince Bharata and Prince Shatrugna prepare to start on their journey and leave of their father and their highly compassionate brother Rama. Bharata being gone, Sri Rama and Lakshmana ministered to the aged king as if he were a god and in his name formed charitable deeds among the people of the city. Rama also ministered to his mother with deep affection and served his guru with single-minded devotion. His noble behavior gratified the king Bharata. brahmins merchants and other castes his sweet disposition and pious conduct charmed the people of the capital rama wholly devoted to sat was renowned for his virtue and endowed with every excellent quality like swayambhu brahma himself For a long time did shri rama enjoy a life of content with sita to him she was dear beyond all things and he surrendered his whole heart to her now is enhanced by beauty virtue and gentleness and sita possessed all these in an equal degree with rama lovely as a goddess 
Sri Sita was able to discern the thoughts of her Lord before he expressed them. The beautiful Sita with Sri Ramachandra wholly satisfied resembled Lakshmi, the consort of the incomparable Vishnu. Thus ended the chapter 77 as of the Balakanda, as well this is the end of the Balakanda. We will now be following with the next Ayodhya Kanda of Ramayana. Namaste Sharada Devi, Kashmira Puravasini, Swamaham Prathaye Nityam, Vidya Dhananchadehime. Bye.